What's up you guys? So I wanted to come on here to give you a voiceover summary about how my trip went as a volunteer at the Wildlife Friends Foundation Thailand. This here is actually the last morning that I spent in Cha'am before I arrived to the rescue center. So I woke up early enough to enjoy myself a cup of coffee on the balcony during the sunrise and then I headed out to the beach for some Thai street food. The volunteer coordinators had set up a taxi to pick me up from my guest house to the rescue center and once I got there the first thing I did was I played with the puppies because they're so cute. The center also provided breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day and here we got to mingle with all the other volunteers who have arrived and who have been there for a duration of time. We were then taken to our bedroom locations and I got to stay right next to the elephants which was an awesome thing to see every start of my morning and at the end of my days. The new volunteers were given a full tour of the rescue center, introduced to the types of animals held in their enclosures, and told a little bit more about each animal's history, background, and their conditions at the refuge. Now this is a rescue, rehab, and release facility, so most of these animals here have the potential to be released back into the wild, except for a number of animals, depending on their situation. Now we're not allowed to touch any of the animals other than the dogs, cats, the pot pigs, and the elephants. Because these are wild animals, the main focus is to not let them become used to or depend on human contact. So there is a strict hands-off policy, except again for those who are allowed to do the animal handling. Oh look, we got to see an elephant playing in the water too. This was actually so cool to see. Again, we mingled with the other volunteers. And then I would actually fall asleep really early every night because, again, we would have to wake up super early the next morning. 5.30. How am I awake? I don't know. Um, but we have to be up and ready to go to the volunteer house by 6.30. And then we start work. It's gonna be a lot of work, so I'm not gonna get a lot of vlogs, but I really hope that I can get some footage of the animals and the kind of works we do, and then I will talk to you guys more about the trip when I get back. Um, just bear with me. Reception here, of course, is not the best, and let's just enjoy this and get a new experience. Now, this dog is cute. Her name is Mama, but she always reminded me of Satori because every time I sat down at this bench, she was always right there and leaning up against me and sleeping. Also, there's an elephant right next to the dining area as well that you can watch. And then I play with the dogs. Now throughout the day, each volunteer is split into separate teams to work in a section of the wildlife or the elephant department. About every hour from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., there is always something to do. But of course, somewhere between you two get your little breaks like I did with these puppies. There is a lot of work to be done, but you do get your little break, so don't worry, you can take a nap, or you can just chill for the rest of the time. usually were to fill the water cans, prepare and serve the food for the animal baskets, and then clean the enclosures and other special projects that the center was requiring for. Sometimes all the physical walking and working outside in the sun tires you out, so if you're lucky with time, take a short nap and get back on schedule, or again, just chill. Oh, this guy's name is Twerk. It's a submissive move he does. Again, more water fills, more feed outs, and more projects. This guy was just chilling here. Now a little bit in the evening after dinner has started. You can always climb up this tower right next to the outlets, head all the way to the top, and take a chance to admire the beautiful sunset and see the whole facility. And there it is. And there's so many elephants. Ugh, this one is so beautiful. 
<laughs> right here, the orangutan had snatched one of the scoopers, so one of our volunteers tried to trade him out with food to have him drop it. And then more elephant views. Now volunteers actually do get a chance to request a day off, or we can also take a night out to go into town after a full day's shift. Here are some of us who went to the view to see the bat cave in Cha Am, and also we hit up the night market for some delicious Thai street food. It was a great way to just kind of kick back and mingle again with the other volunteers after a long day's shift. Now if you could see the squiggly line, yes those are bats flying out of the cave. Ooh, now at this night market, uh, this food was cheap and it was good, and then I just really fell in love with drinking coconut juice, like everywhere. Fresh coconut juice, as you can see me drinking here, I probably drank like two more after that. Because it was delicious! And back to work we go! Now here are some baby macaques. This one actually is missing an arm. And there's some cute little ones over here as well. It's like a whole family of them. More cleaning, more scrubbing, more feeding, more drinks. And this guy right here is Axel. He is my Danish Justin Bieber look-alike. <laughs> now sometimes when you work you can't help but take out your phone and take a snapchat video or picture of the animals being cute or doing something funny like we obnoxiously caught these guys oh yeah getting it most of the time i was catching videos of the animals eating i don't know it's just something about them it makes it cute or i can just relate like this guy china He's so cute. That's our only little chipukin monkey we had. And that's me when I wake up in the morning. That's exactly what I look like. <laughs> right now in the morning and I actually took today off because yesterday was actually my last day of my volunteer shift here at the center. My flight is actually tomorrow morning so I really wanted to take today as my last day to kind of fully relax. Just one of those just days off like after working all week and being so tired, working in the sun, getting dirty and everything. I had to take that last day off so I can just refresh before I go back home. Yeah, I just met some awesome people out here. Uh, a lot of them are younger than me, a lot of them are older than me, or the same age. And just, you know, knowing where they came from and what their travel stories are, what their plans are when they get back home, whether they're going to school or if they're going to travel abroad even more, it's really inspiring and motivating to me. Uh, and hopefully that I can do something like that in the future as well. In the meantime, I need to go back home and I miss Tori, so I gotta be with her and I'm gonna keep working and just keep on working until I can make my money. So I'm gonna get ready, get my stuff packed and ready for leaving tomorrow. And I'm going to go to the spa. Today. Like I said, on my day off, which was the day before my flight back to Houston, I went over to the Petchavarin Resort and Spa basically to just loosen up, relax, and get a full body massage. And then I took a swim in a pool, and then I fell asleep in the sun. But it felt good, so that was worth a day off. We got to choose the oil we wanted to have for a massage. And the water was cold at first, but you get used to it. By the time I got back to WFFT, 
a uh, few of us girls who were also spending our last nights there at the rescue center went up to the top of the tower again to see one last view of the elephants and the sunset. I got to say goodbye to some of the animals and also I got to say goodbye to some of the volunteers that I met along the way. It was a good experience. I honestly was kind of sad that I was getting the hang of it during my last two days of working over there. But hopefully I can come back again next year and I'm looking forward to seeing some familiar faces and some fresh new volunteer faces to work with. I'm also excited to see how much progression the Rescue Center will build into the future. Uh, thank you to Mr. Edwin Wake for the opportunity and to the rest of the volunteer coordinator staff. You guys are doing a great thing out there helping these rescued animals. So keep doing what you guys are doing and hopefully I will see you again soon. So yeah, that concludes my Wildlife Friends Foundation volunteer vlog. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short because I know people's attention span does not want to watch a 14 minute video. So I just want to say thanks for watching and following my little adventure, my trip. And I hope you guys liked it. And if you'd like to donate or take part in the Wildlife Friends Foundation Thailand, there will be links and information below in the description box about how you can get in touch with the center and send your donations. If you want to take part in volunteering as well, I can send you the links on how I got into that. And yeah, if you have any further questions, comments, ideas, or just anything you'd like to say about my trip, my channel, I mean, whatever, I don't know. Again, I'm trying to just keep this short. Just go ahead and um, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'm back in Houston now. So let's just work, live life, keep working so I can live life again. Thanks for watching.